Hey everyone, this is Mr. Everything, and I wanted to do a quick video on how you can clean up the uh, white wall on tires that obviously have white walls. Uh, right now what I'm trying is uh, some SOS. I did try this Mr. Clean Magic Eraser, and I didn't really think it would hold up. You can see it's falling apart. It kind of does work, but it just wears out so quick that it's easy. I mean, I still am using it, but it's easier to break it up with this. Uh, Actually, I got this from my grandpa like years ago, probably like 20 years ago. He would have me clean the white walls, which I think back in the day they were a little bit bigger. And this is the first car that I've ever owned that had white walls that were already on it, and they're Michelins. And I'm just gonna try this method. I already actually did two tires. Now, as you can probably tell, the front ones, this is the front, is way worse looking. Uh, I assume this car must have semi-metallic brake pads because they're just filthy up front. Because then yeah, it does stop pretty good, but that's kind of, I think most cars use ceramic brake pads now, but these look like they're semi-metallics. So I already uh, scrubbed the tire. I use uh, bleach white in this, and uh, it won't clean this. I keep wanting to call it a pinstripe, but I guess it'd just be a white wall. It, it's just not aggressive enough to where this SOS pad seems to clean it up pretty good. Now, if you have like, I think they're called Vogue's or some really expensive white wall, I, I'm i not gonna say go ahead and try this. You know, if it would rip the finish off, I don't know how deep the white is. If it's just like dyed on top and if you scrape through it turns black, I can't say. And you know, a lot of your classics, they have that really nice big white wall. You know, this might not be the best method because you'll be here all day scrubbing. But if you have really, really, those are really expensive tires, then there's probably a better system or maybe there's an actual cleaner or tool or something. But if you're just regular set of white walls and you want to do it easy and cheap, And like I said, if you do want to use the Magic Eraser, once you get that heavy layer off, I'm not sure if this is helping any, but and your hands are going to be a mess. And I'm trying to do all this one-handed, but let's see. This a little bit right here. Maybe I can clean up some more. And there you go. Now this side I already cleaned the wheel too. Looks really nice. This little side. And you can see what the before was at the beginning of the video. And I mean, I could go over it again if I missed a little bit, but I think that came out nicely. Obviously, I still have to clean the, the wheel, but uh, just try an SOS pad if uh, you don't mind. See how that comes out for you. It worked for me. So thank my grandpa for teaching me that one. Uh, maybe that's already out there, but if you didn't know, that's one method that seems to work pretty good. So thanks for watching, and you'll see me in the next one. Have a good one.